Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about Web Squared, a new idea recently introduced by Web2 pioneer Tim O'Reilly. Whilst O'Reilly clearly has his own definitions, for me Web Squared fundamentally involves the cybernetic fusion of the World Wide Web and the human race that's starting to occur as Web2 matures more devices go online and all of our individual data shadows begin to mingle. Web 2 involves linking people to people via computers, linking computers and organisations via web services and linking people to online data and applications. In other words, Web 2 is all about using the internet as a platform for establishing new and improved types of connection, as well as the forms of collective intelligence this facilitates. Web Squared then builds on this foundation in two important respects. Firstly, in the Web Squared age, it won't just be human beings typing on keyboards that will add to or teach the internet. In addition, as all information technology becomes internet technology, so almost every camera, microphone, scanner, GPS locator and other form of sensor will start to directly feed the web with data. As voice and vision recognition improves, there will therefore be less and less requirement for human beings to structure data into text before the web will be able to understand it. Even more fundamentally, Web Squared highlights how the world and the World Wide Web are converging with our conceptual focus shifting from the new forms of connection facilitated by Web2 to the single entity created as all internet users and computers become the interconnected cells of a global cybernetic creature. In this sense, understanding Web Squared is about recognising the implications and applications of the single internet forest rather than its component trees. One of the interesting things about the Web Squared concept is that it integrates and mainstreams some very powerful ideas that have been in the shadows for some time. For example, the notion of the fusion of the human race with its technology is something very powerfully explored by Gregory Stock in his 1993 book, Metaman. In his book, Stock considers looking down from the moon at the night side of the earth, pitch dark except for the luminous network of cities and highways. He then points out that over the decades this shimmering lacework has evolved and extended in a pattern that indicates how all the people and technology on earth are merging into one gigantic living being. Stock then names this new life form Metaman. All that is missing from Stock's 1993 vision is the specific mention of Google, Twitter, iPhones, netbooks and the host of other web developments that are now enabling Metaman to crawl out of its infancy. Many people may of course fear the mass digital interconnection of Web Squared as potentially dehumanising. However, it can just as easily be argued to be an evolutionary form of rehumanizing us and breaking down the barriers between ideologies and nations that continue to threaten us all. Or, as legendary techno-philosopher Timothy Leary once put it, intimacy at the digital level programs and enriches exchanges in the warm levels. Warm breath interactions with your touch friends will be more elegant and pleasant with a digital reality option added. In his Web Squared report, O'Reilly states that it's time for the web to engage the world and help solve its most pressing problems. For me, this nicely highlights how future internet developments have to be about more than computing. Granted, Web Squared will involve the technicalities of augmented reality and the more sophisticated mining of real-time data. However, 
Far more fundamentally, Web Squared involves a realisation that the thinking behind the evolution of the internet may offer our best hope for dealing with problems including economic recession and climate change. For more information, I'd recommend reading O'Reilly's report, as well as visiting the pages of explainingcomputers.com. But for now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.